Hi, Jamie. Yeah, I got your email. So nice to hear from you again after a long time. How has the, uh, the tours been going? I'm sure great. Okay, so yes, we're going to focus on those areas um, you pointed out, like you drag chest voice up and which causes you to um, strain or too much tension when you want to sing um, notes, especially in the high range. And um, also you want to learn how to place in the mask, okay? Actually, the first one and the second one connects. Dragging chest voice up and placing in the mask, okay? So they connect, all right? So the next one is singing softer, contrary um, to a full approach or a strong approach to a song. So we're gonna deal with all these. All right, so the first thing I wanna say here, we need to know where the passaggio is for the male and the females, okay? So what is passaggio? Is that passage area, you cross one register into another, one type of voice to another. In this case, chest voice, you wanna cross from chest voice to mixed voice. Once you're able to know this, you've solved half of the problem, okay? It may not be in your mouth yet because um, it takes practice to take it from your head and put it in your mouth, okay? So what's the area where usually the men find their voice breaking? Now, this area for men is usually um, E, F sharp, and uh, E, F, F sharp, all right? So, this area, yeah? And um, we have other E, F, F sharp, which is usually this one, actually, uh, the one in the third octave, E, F, F sharp. So around this area, you know, occasionally, yes, you can add an E flat or G, you know? So around that area, what, what I'm trying to say is, is around that area, all right? So um, that's the passaggio for the men. And for the females, it's usually A, B flat, B. So it's different for the females. A, B flat, B. A, B flat, B. All right, so for men, E, F, F sharp. E, F, F sharp. Okay, great. So the second thing is you need to understand the anatomy of the vocal cords. What happens? What happens in the vocal cords when you're crossing? All right. So I'll give you an illustration uh, shortly. So here, here's a pair of slippers. I'm gonna use this to illustrate um, when you cross from your chest voice to your mixed voice. What happens? And when you don't, why you um, experience um, tension? All right. So imagine this is the whole length of the vocal cords. Okay. So you know in your chest voice, that's really not a problem for, for you, I'm sure, because I've heard your voice, amazing voice. You have an amazing voice, all right? But sometimes like we have you know, some little areas um, we need to like um, correct to get to the next level. There's always a next level, all right? So in your chest voice, everything vibrates along its entire length and that's why you have the resonance mainly in the mouth and the chest. Uh, uh, your talking range and you may have uh, a low chest voice you have a mid chest voice and you have a, a higher chest voice so you can go uh, to the higher um, chest voice well the problem is you know when you're going up you get to the bridge which is the passaggio and in this area your vocal cords need to start zipping up, okay? So instead of vibrating along its entire length, it's just leaving um, just an area, maybe one third of the length to vibrate, all right? And that, what does that do? That causes you to have control. That causes the sound to be thinner. So when you're going up, sliding up, the vocal cords should, you know, vibrate one third of its length. So what is happening with your voice is you're crossing that passaggio and still, <laughs> You're using the whole length of the vocal cords to sing. Too much tension. That's what creates too much tension. So the question is, how do you then begin to zip it up when you get to your passaggio? That's why the exercises are there. So I'm gonna, you know, um, do some exercises 
um, I'm going to do some exercises uh, for you that you can use to correct it. Because like I always say, you know, we can control our um, hands, our arms, our head whenever we want to. But if you've developed a habit here to sing in a certain way, you can't just change it overnight. All right. You need a condition and exercise to help, you know, reprogram. There's a reprogramming we need to do, which which would not happen overnight. OK, so it's not a quick fix. So the more you do it every day, the more it will season in here and you get to a point. It becomes your natural way of singing. OK, so that's it. Then the next thing is what will make it function the way it should. Simple bubbles or lip rolls. Beautiful exercises that automatically zips it up. With lip pros, you have direct control of what happens here. You, you make the vocal cords zip up naturally. And when they get to their passaggio, it will zip up the way it should. So no more pulling up of chest voice into uh, unwanted areas, all right? Areas is not wanted, uh, which creates tension and uh, strain, okay? So lip rolls, bubbles, and then we come close to the singing world by using nay, 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 mom, 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 and other words, okay? So lip rolls is what actually does the work. And then when you bring in nay, 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 mom, 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 na, 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 whatever word it is, that's bringing you closer to the singing world, okay? So I, 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 I have this adage here that says, knowing will only keep it in your head and not bring it to your mouth practice does is practice that does okay so the next thing next adage is what's the point of trying to make changes when the same old law breakers are still inside so this is a habit the way we're singing right now is a habit so what we need to do is use this um, um exercises to correct it and change get rid of the law breakers that keep making you keep making us sing the same way so we're going to start with a warm up exercise all right this warm-up exercise doesn't require scales. Very simple. Because what we're trying to do is establish a connection in the vocal cords. All right? So anyone can do the vocal fry. You know, when, you, when people sing in falsetto, this is hardly making contact. They use too much air. That's not your problem. The problem is how do we connect chest voice to mixed voice and bring the sound right in our face right here in the mask all right so i want us to first of all start with the vocal fry we go ah. what you're hearing right now is actually each vibration one two three four but happening faster ah. as the air pumps out of your lungs through your trachea trachea and the air when it hits against the vocal cords, it causes it to vibrate, right? Uh, so we've got that, right, in the uh, vocal fry area. We've got the vocal fry, okay, but that's lower. Where we got it is lower than our chest voice, okay? So we're going to slide up. We're going to slide up with vocal fry, all right? So what's this going to do? It's gonna to begin to help you eliminate tension, okay? Practice eliminating tension. It may not happen once, but with constant practice, you master it. It will stay, okay? So.